Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. This will be a very quick midweek video. In this video, I'm going to look at putting a pulling strap on the back of the bike. So uh, for those of you who saw my video with the racks, when the racks are on, I've actually got a handle where I, I can grab the back of the bike relatively easily. Uh, when the rack is off and I've just got the rally pack on, there isn't really anywhere to grab it. I don't really want to put anything that's particularly heavy on. So what I have is this Moose, Moose Racing rear lift strap. So what this is, is a, just open that up. What this is, it's a, uh, it's, it's a webbing strap that will go across the back of the bike. I'm thinking it's going to go around the two uh, seat mounting points, just like that. It comes with a wide variety of hardware to fit it. And it just means that it's something you can, you can grab and pull on uh, if the bike gets stuck and you need to lift it out. Because there isn't really anything else on the back of the bike uh, where you can do that. So, it um, comes with some instructions, which I'm sure I can look at. But what is more interesting to me is this bag of various mounting hardware. So it has some bushes uh, to let this stand off um, and also some flexible washers. I'm gonna try and reuse the existing mounting bolts that are in there. Um, so I'll try and get the camera in close enough so you can see exactly what's going on. Right then, here we go. I will just have a quick look at the instructions just in case there's something particularly special. Yeah, nothing particularly helpful on there. I think I'm essentially gonna use the two black bushings in there. So hopefully you can see that. That's my existing seat bolt, which I'm just gonna take out. These are actually the same bolts and spacers that I used with the, with the rack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lose the previous spacer. I'm gonna take one of these smaller spacers uh, that came with the strap. And then, this is the strap itself. So I'm just going to use this, this bushing that came with it. Uh, and my bolt will actually go inside that, which hopefully you can see. It's going to put a spacer on the far side and then the, uh, the metal spacer that holds the seat in place. There's still enough thread, I think, that's sticking out on the far side of that to keep that secure. So I'll just pop that back in. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to go around and do the other side and then I'm going to check the strap length. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. So exactly the same here. Take out the old bolt. And these are the two bolts that actually hold the seat on. There we go. So normally it has that much, so it's actually even more thread that's going to be remaining. I'm going to use the bushing that came with it, pass that through the end of the strap. I'm going to use one of the small spacers. You can see that. That goes on there. And then the, the bushing to hold the seat in place. So I'm just going to pop that back in. There we go, that's it. That is the strap installed. That's pretty solid. It's not really catching on the seat. One thing that I do think is that it's actually, um, there we go, it's actually a bit too loose. So it did say, it does have this stitched end on the strap, but what it did say was basically to cut it so that um, the strap itself is tight because there is this little elastic piece in here. So when it's tight across the seat, just by pulling on that would actually give you enough leverage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take it off momentarily. I'm gonna cut this strap short with a hot knife and then I'm gonna pull it tight again. So I'll go and do that in the workshop. So here's the strap as I was taking it off the bike. Um, as you can see, even when it was at this length, it was still too long. So I think I'm probably just gonna cut it off somewhere back near the M here, um, just to uh, make it a more acceptable length for, for pulling through. I think that will still give me enough, enough space. Maybe I'll, I'll leave the moo on there. So this is just a soldering iron uh, with a cutting blade on it. Um, so it gets nice and hot, does a very nice uh, clean cut. So hopefully you can see that. I'll do it that way around. And what it does do is it just means that there is no, um, there's no loose ends when it comes through. Pull that loose end out. So what I will do now, I'm just gonna go back, pull that a little bit tighter, fit it back to the bike, and we should be all done. So here I've got my new, um, new and improved shortened strap. So what I'm going to do is just pull it through a little bit further. Yep, that looks pretty good. So it has these two retaining clips. So I'll leave those on there. Push this one back up. There we go. So now I'm just going to bolt this back onto the bike. Same as before, using these same four pieces. So the bolt goes through that. Then it goes through, through that, pop it through that hole, and then the, the bushing that holds the seat in place goes on the back. 
and that just bolts into place through there. So exactly the same on the other side. So I don't need any of these other bits. I'll keep those uh, to go back on my rack. Everything else will go back in the so back. There you have it. That is the Moose uh, lift strap. As you can see, there's a bit of elastic just up at this end. Can't quite see your setup shot, but it means that it's actually sitting flat on the seat uh, when it's not in use, but you can still easily get your hands under it to lift that up. And it is bolted uh, right into the subframe at the back. So it's something you could get a good, a good lift on if you need it. So that's it, a really short video just on how to put the, the Moose rear lifting strap on a Honda CRF 300L or a Honda CRF 300 Rally. Obviously mine's on the Rally, but the seat mounting bolts are in exactly the same place. Uh, I think that you might have slightly different bolts. There's some silver bolts that have a protruding end um, that look like you could put webbing around. So I think it's just a matter of looking through the fitting hard hardware that came with it and picking the, the combination that works best for you. So yeah, that's it. It's uh, a really short video. Um, I'll put this out as one of my midweek shorts. Uh, hopefully it's been interesting and useful. If it has, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.